acting, reacting, uh, responding to the you know situations of uh, discrimination at academic level, social level, emotional level, caste level. Definitely yes. But the point is this that uh, you have shown your skill and confidence and militancy to come together and raise your voice against discrimination. And I would urge you all to keep in mind that if they are right, he has rightly pointed out the elites across the country, the elites here at the social level, even here at the intellectual and academic level, and the elites here at the, uh, you know, the past level. Otherwise, we have all been, you know, used and thrown from every dimension in the society in this country, politically, socially, economically, eventually. And as a result, what's happening is that that, as a sociologist, I always make this point, some of you have heard from me before, that the Indian society and the caste culture, the Indian population in the society, I divide into two major categories. One is the beneficiaries of the caste system, and second is the victims of the caste system. In India, in Indian society, there are majority victims and the beneficiaries are very small, but very strong and powerful since the history. So the point is to put this upside down. Actually, classically speaking, uh, ideally speaking, it's a majority should rule, politically, socially, culturally. It is in this country, the other way around, that minority has been, you know, source of oppression and suppression and exploitation based on caste, gender, religion, language, and so on. So, and the, you know, uh, disabilities. I humbly would request you all to read a small handbook, it's there in the library, I think, uh, discrimination under that technology. Uh, you know that, you know, handbook for sensitizing teachers and teacher educators on the issue of uh, sex, caste, religion and disability discrimination. I try to, you know, define and try to give you some. Of course, it's not that uh, uh, platform. The point I want you to make is this, that, you know, if you and I do not know the basics and the details of what is available, what Balasana Ambedkar made us available, <laughs> And, you know, the various, you know, uh, you know, forms of that and various, you know, uh, you know, uh, opportunity and facilities and what are, you know, the, the strains of that. Now, for example, I, I, you know, must very humbly tell you, including JNU and the IIT, IIT are very familiar with JNU and the IIT, that took my feet in front of that, above all, let me tell you, based on my experiences here for more than 30 years, I tell you, the Constitution and the law has given the very clear and open instructions and guidelines. It's a rule rather standardly to have each college and university the essays to set. There is nothing beyond that. Based on my experiences, I have been in charge of the same for more than two decades and, and so, now the Social Protection Office. I will tell you, all your privileges, academic, social, personal, emotional, employment, recruitment, you know, faculty partners, students, hostess, you know, if you do not know all your rights and opportunities, who would know? And if you want to demand, you are opposing to demand, you must know the basics. I'm not, you know, teaching here, I'm trying to suggest to you, if tomorrow you go to the library and find out the book that talks of in detail, places to sell, what are the responsibilities and duties of the sale and the sale in charge. I'm sorry to say, uh, Mr. P, I opened it several times the JV website, and the, you know, the link to the ASX to sell. Of JV, what does it do? The sale of the JU ASX to sell at the JU looks after settling down the car loan things and the health insurance. 
Why can't I expect I expected this from Alabama by mistake, but now I expect this from maps are there. When I was at JNU, the things were different. And I was carried away by the Sitaram into the company. But the question is this, the point is this, that there is reservation in the hostel. Does the JNU or our other universities follow? Do they follow? Yes or no? If no, why not? Then what is the solution? There, there are there is reservations at the faculty contest. There are reservations in promotions. There are reservations in employment. And for that, I will I'll share with you. The, I have heard the order of the government of the United States of the that the students and the faculty members are supposed to undergo very special training as their right to fulfill the expectations or the conditions of the low requirements. Like for example, why the admission co coaching happens here? Our post admission coaching happens here. It's because mandatory on the part of all the university authorities or the government offices to establish the state and to play the watchdog. SCSP state in charge has the right to complain to the government of India, to the agency. And there is also notification that the non-plan grant and the plan grant that is sanctioned by the agency, out of the non-plan plan, 15% for student pass and 8% for student price budget has to be spent only for that, for their welfare, for their promotion. Now all these details are known, but I will not go into that. Now, another point I I, uh, I advise you all as the students, you know, the discrimination in general and discrimination in higher education has failed to come to the forefront even empirically academic. I would advise you to take up within your own discipline the issues like this, number one. There are very few studies on discrimination, particularly on high, in the area of higher education, but those studies are mostly done by Bambin academics. Now, the difference between what you write or I write to and what they do. Of course, they do it very superficially to, to, to get promoted or to get the name and the pay. But the answer to their weaknesses is my, my strength and my soundness, which has to be reflected through your intellectual and academic discourse. Another important point is this that higher education level. The total enrollment in general in the country is just 3%, whatever the government talks about that. Out of these 3%, how many would be the SCs and the SPs and the OBCs? How many would be the, you know, boys and the, you know, the males and the females? What are the original differences? This has to be established, you know, the academic intellectually established. Now, this 3%, what you see is here, you cannot see outside in other universities. Now, the point is this, that I would uh, urge and also advise not to stop here. Is it possible for Baksa or at Hyderabad State University or been there or establish these strong, we are right to call it social and academic network and then organizing, organize sessions orientation sessions, sensitization sessions, sessions, over the issues, over the learning issues, over the academic issues, over the social issues. And then, what I know, I should be having some scope platform to disseminate what little I know, my experiences, academic and also the non-academic. You know, the organizing itself, over the issues, in addition to the slogans and the songs, and in addition to the excitement, practically, rationally, we should be able to. Now, the point you see, I tried last year from here. I have no work. If you find anything useful from me to contribute to your thoughts, please. Because you are all my, I don't see little men, but your brothers and your sisters. Yes, I will be very happy to. But the question is this now that. Self orientation and orientation and sensitization for others, for the issues, with facts and the scientific figures, is a must. 
across the market as that, at least I can tell you, that we tremendously lack in representing ourselves academically, socially, politically, and what not. Why that is happening is because there is no way, there is no one single play across the country, not from this West. That, that needs to be done. And some people, some leaders have to make some other way, some kind of sacrifice. Now, now, <coughs> Uh, one more point about the same is actually, as for the government and the university guideline, there has to be the same, which is mandatory. And if we, they do not establish the same, the university is liable to withhold the points, standards. There is a rule. If you don't establish in your same level function, you are or you do not have this. I was surprised to know also about the institution of the developers. I mean, I was there with the first tribunal, uh, well, I was the jury member there. Same thing that happened about the game, which are prime universities. And that made voice. But the voice, including all your basic rights, I, 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 I say some, something is missing out from there. Now, another important point is this that. The persons, individuals who get discriminated, who face discrimination, that is one. I would like to invite your attention to those who discriminate. Why do they discriminate? Under what circumstances? What make them? What is their value? And the thin line between progressive upper class families and the upper class families. It's a very thin line. You are right to find out the way it is between the left and the right. Same thing here. But then the problem is, are we in a position capable or strong enough to be more? You know, like the ashes, my colleague, Professor Ramay is sitting here. The ashes implemented reservation policy in the year 1981 only. Which year? 1981. This was established in 1936. And the uh, reservation was introduced in 1950. Why they took so much of time? So many of the years. So we went to the high court for the reservations. And please believe me, I was the first direct lecturer to enter the IHS under reserve cash. Now, there are few, but I want to question why it happened, under what sort of circumstances it And then, a system, I think, Verdi was immediately used to establish a system, and the things went, went out. I would say the IHS, Social Protection Office of the SSTC, SSTC for SSD, there is a clear mandate there should be separate cell for OVCs. Students sitting and getting benefits of OVC category, please note this down. Then there is a separate cell for the minorities, particularly with the Muslim minorities. Now the point is this, that all the central universities at least, including PIS and other central universities, or the, what you call, uh, the general universities, you know, who do we think for this? Who do we think for demanding such sales, separate independent sales? Now, here it is called social protection office. Social protection for SC, SC, OBC, minorities, and the PWPs. All five categories are together. Now, the question is this that all the universities, what is available, we should open it. How to achieve that? What are the qualifications, intellectual, legal, required to achieve? What is, you know, prescribed of, of prescribed there, according to the law? Now, you know, we are talking of higher education. And there are the provisions available to facilitate to higher education. Facilities are two types, provisions are of two types, material and the non-material. 
Now, academic privileges, academic facilities, and non academic facilities. Now, there is a 3 percent enrollment. One student at high level of education is out of 3 lakh students from the village. One girl student is out of 6 lakh at this time. Now, this to increase this, no one has tried to establish this as to why, what is happening and why is Now, another important point is, if you are not aware, so research findings are the reservation policy and the benefits, there is gross unawareness among the day, prospective benefits. Number one. Number two, is strong bureaucracy. Number three, the strong bias and prejudices. And number five, number five is there is no willpower because the issue got thoroughly politicized. What are the entries doing? What is the SCST standing for parliamentary political? We are drawing the issue. Let us find out who is heading the SCST parliamentary committee, whose that head of that committee is you know, given the cabinet minister's status. Why is it Is it a similar position made for the Muslim also? They are in the parliament or the minority also? They, you know, like my expression is telling me, the government and the secretary, the IAS officer sitting there in the ministry in Delhi, tells me or tells us that there are no applications. We say, we do not get, they say there are no applications. Now, who is around and who is right? That is to be, you know, that is to be made, that is to be established, empirically and legally also. Now, ultimately, what I am trying to say is that the, you know, it's, it's, at, at times I get emotional, but, you know, when I recall my, my childhood or my youth, you know, uh, I am telling you, I am writing an underwear. You know, the point is this, that the form of discrimination has changed. And it, the form changes from rural to urban, from caste to caste, and from university to university. But the basic point is, not more this, is that there is a discrimination. Now, perceive this is a discrimination, that's agravic blah blah. No. I will not be discriminating against you, but you perceive that you are discriminating against me. But the question is this, that discrimination is universal, definitely, but it is more rampant in the Indian, in the, in the Indian society. And the result, I forget that point, the reservation policy or the affirmative action policy is not only India dancing around. India is the last country to introduce the reservation policy or the affirmative action policy. I have direct and primary experiences abroad that there are 90% countries on the that have this policy of affirmative action policy, including the US, definitely, including China. Now, to make this point, can anyone come forward and make a comparative study of the experiences of affirmative action policy as a reservation policy. Of course, the base and the names are different in different countries. But it is not only India that is a reservation policy, you know, following the reservation policy. The point is this that friends, uh, 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 it's very, very unfortunate in human to, you know, lose the aim and From the university or from the society, I don't know if there is any. Uh, why the people's tribunal was there, I was not going to remember. The report of the, it was headed by the retired judge uh, of the uh, Madras High Court. I have shared that uh, report with uh, Sujit. Uh, he may share with you. Please read that. Now, I wrote a mail to the organizer, an activist, who, who uh, you know, who established this uh, People's Tribunal, myself and one more professor from Professor Hanshan Shah uh, was with me, he was also a member, 
and all the procedure are there before. Now, I look and that was according to the guidelines of the Hyderabad Act 4 that will service this uh, you know, people's tribunal. And they submitted their report to the uh, uh, High Court. Now, I wrote that lady who is a human rights activist, Vasudha Nagaran. What happened to that? Now, it's everything cool and cold there. Police is, we know, better. And the court is doing something else, and the police is doing something else, and uh, you know, the, the, the activists who are demanding for the justice for the role. Um, you know, please see that this, you know, this spirit doesn't go down. down you and I must be able to keep it up very strongly from all dimensions, from all points of view. Now, so, uh, I'm suggesting, I have a partly interested in my life, but I started writing life, which is a authentic primary source of record and data. If your son and daughter read that, my, my son and daughter are reading it now, uh, they, 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 they don't need a recipient. My children don't believe that I have undergone such experiences in my life. Now, let us not give others opportunity to write your history and mine. That's why I'm laughing. You write your own history. I will write my own history. And I will teach you. I have seen the professors from J.A. to teach, who teach social justice and welfare in the class, how to make practice outside the classroom. I am very close to me interacting with many of the students here. My final point uh, is this, and my, I don't say the advice, my appeal is this, that I do not want to see any more, any Rohit in this country. When I met uh, his mother, uh, I choose that because emotionally I am a very big person. But please remember, nobody will come and feed him. Anything. Even your mother doesn't feed you food now. You know how to eat the food. But nobody will come and offer you your, your, give you the rights. You have to assert. And to assert that rights, you have to be very strong in every sense. Or to be strong in every sense, Socially, economically, intellectually, ideologically, you have to do the hard work. And to do the hard work, there is no shortcut to hard work, no shortcut to knowledge. Please, friends, I wish you all the best, but you know, like what happens is that the unless and until all the separation of this majority, 80% of this population of this country doesn't come together on a single platform. Shedukhan, Shedukhaish, OBCs and the Muslims. Things will not happen. So your approach also should be to you know, invite and include students, at least on the university campuses, from other communities like the Muslim communities and also the OBC communities. And let nobody will be, nobody will bear it to let you down and put it down. I finally and once again thank everybody and thank the organizers for giving me this opportunity. I'll be available for anything, anytime. Whatever you deem appropriate to, to take from me. Whatever you say. Thank you so much. Let me express one more thing. A military woman should not begin with the reservation and should not end with the reservation. Reservation is not the only thing to talk about a military woman. There is a lot to talk about a military woman. How many people are getting benefit through the reservation? Out of 100 Dalits, 3 Dalits are getting education through the reservation. Three Dalits are getting jobs in their lives and rest of the 97 
Dalits out of 100 are struggling. But 5 to 10 percent, the upper class, the dominant class of this society, they are, they are keeping 50 percent reservation in general quota. They are not allowing anyone belong to the reserve category to enter into general quota. We have to, we have to take, take away the 50 percent reservation from 5 to 10 percent dominant class. That should be the ambassador goal, not just fighting for the reservation, which doesn't give any benefit. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Actually, 
because it is very much, it is in the realm of the private. So actually, legally it is in the realm of the business. That is what is happening actually in a case like Lord Bhima. In that time, uh, uh, what I heard is that it came out in the internet that I don't want to say again and again. Uh, I think that there should be a discrimination of audit. We have all sorts of audits. We have gender audit. We have environmental audit. We have many kinds of social audit. Why not a discrimination audit of the universities? At the present time, the Na National Accreditation uh, uh, Council for Universities, they come and they, they really audit everything. Like what is the population, what is the infrastructure, what is this, what is that. Why not discrimination as a component of that audit so that the IIDs or any NGA institution which is telling that we are great, but there have been five six IIDs in the institute, that institute there should come down drastically and there should be some financial uh, punishment for that kind of uh, institute. So this is what I think that discrimination audit also can be a preventive measure compared to some kind of uh, law which comes after some of the industry. And the last one I would like to highlight is that I think when it comes to my mind, uh, if we compare between the Visaka guidelines and SHC, the Visaka guidelines is applicable to both public and private sector. It's not only for the public organizations, it's for the private organization access. And Visaka guidelines is not about individuals, it is the institute, it is the organization which through the task committee has to ensure an environment that is free from sexual harassment. Similarly, no it is for gas. Assistance is very different. It, 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 it is very different. So, what I feel is that scholarship issues of the students and uh, critical resolution posts are not the only and major problem in an higher education institution. The indirect discrimination which happens, that is also a major problem. And if there is some kind of anti discrimination spell in the matter of caste committee where external members are also there. A cash committee, you know, decisions are more and more effective. They are effective in the sense they are drawing their strength from the Supreme Court judgment. So, in the line of that, if there is an anti discrimination cell in the issue and discrimination audit, then that can, I think, help in a little better way. Uh, I thank uh, the organizers to give me a chance to share my, uh, share my view before you. Thank you.